Hello YouTube, my name's Steve and today I'm going to be talking about making some rocky features for your battlefield. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, this piece of 6mm MDF. I've made it this size, specifically so it goes inside my hill with a box in it. And I'll be able to store away my uh, finished rocky features inside my hill with a box in it. So what I've done is I've drawn some lines in the back where I'm just going to cut out the jigsaw and it'll all piece together again and fit snugly inside the box. Uh, if you want to see how to make this hill, I've got a video up of that already and I'll put a link in the description below so you can get that or you can just check out my channel if you want. But uh, that's enough about that, let's bash on and make some terrain. Okay, I've finished cutting out the bases and what I've done is I've just sanded along the edges to give them a bit of a natural finish. Uh, to do that I used this little hobby tool thing, it comes with different attachments and uh, one of them is a sander and that was quite useful. Uh, you can also use sandpaper, that's a little more hardcore, especially with the 6mm stuff. Uh, you probably don't need to use MDF that's as thick as that for this because it's just small pieces. But 6mm MDF is what I had kicking about because I had it left over from when I made the hill. So that's what I'm making these with. Uh, just one point to note when you're sanding this stuff, the MDF. Uh, remember we're dust masks because it, gets, it makes a lot of dust. Uh, I actually collected up my sawdust that I had left over, I'll make a collection of this stuff. It's quite handy when it comes to um, bulking out things like polyfiller or you can mix it with PVA glue to make um, filler basically to fill up gaps. So keep a supply of sawdust, <laughs> comes in handy sometimes. Uh, but yeah that's it, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to break the rest of the process making these into stages and show you each step uh, one piece at a time. Okay, so yeah. okay, so here's the first stage. What we have is uh, extruded polystyrene. It's just insulating foam, pink insulating foam. It also comes in blue. Uh, this stuff's better than uh, the expanded polystyrene you get as packaging. It's more hardware and tougher. Pretty solid. And all I've done is I've glued that to the base and together with uh, some strong wood glue. Um, and let it dry. Not much more to say. Just cut it with a sharp knife. If you've got a foam cutter and you like to do that, well, knock yourself out. Sharp knife does the job for me. Uh, stage two is we get our bark. It's exactly the same process as we do the cliffs on the hill. And this is just bark off a tree and stuck to the foam to follow the shape round. And this is where our, uh, this is going to make our, our rocky faces on the rocky outcrop. So the whole thing is basically covered in it and you can see it's not too carefully stuck on, it's just uh, a bit stuck onto the flats of it and what you'll find is the bark sometimes comes in really interesting shapes like that's got a nice kind of curve on it going down so what I've found with doing this is much easier to shape your foam, it's much easier to cut this to the shape of your bark than it is to try and manipulate the bark into the shape of your foam. So when you're doing this stage, stage one, uh, give yourself plenty of excess to cut away because you don't know exactly what your bark's going to look like when you're sticking it on. So again, just use the strong wood glue, stick on the bark, let it dry. Probably let it dry overnight before you do any more. Uh, you can also use a hot glue gun I suppose if you wanted. Hot glue gun would speed things up. I prefer the wood glue, I think it's stronger bond in the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, stage two. Stage three, exactly the same as the hill. What we have is a layer of polyfiller covering up the gaps and it's basically just representing, our, representing where our uh, soil's lying on the hill. So there's going to be layers of soil and turf and stuff hanging over the edges hopefully and uh, that's going to look nice. But we make sure we leave uh, rocky faces shown and you know, you don't need to worry about things like this. See there's a big gap there and there's like uh, polystyrene shown. Don't worry about that. It's just going to look like a cave. There's quite a lot of polystyrene shown. Don't worry about the polystyrene shown. It looks good in the end. Uh, and once you've done this stage, just get a bit of dust over with a bit of sandpaper. Knock off all these these uh, sticky out edges. You see there's a little spike there. Um, there. Like you want to knock those off before you go to the painting stage. Speaking of the painting stage, that's what we've done next. Uh, this is another one. So you paint your rocky faces rocky and the bits where you're going to have your turf paint them brown. And this is just painted black and then dry brushed. And the same as what I said with the 
and it's doing the hill, make sure you get into all the deep recesses. It really is important to get into those because the, the posterior of that have missed bits on this, you can see. Oh, can you? Little bits of white in there for the posterior, so I've missed bits there as so. well. But really try and get in there as best you can because you don't want the white shown through. And here this is just the brown uh, acrylic or brown household emulsion, whichever you've got. And that's just painted on there, it looks bra. And then the final stage is just gluing and flocking. So this is a larger piece, that's piece number one. And it's got a fairly big cliff on it and that's say what the final thing is going to look like. Just paint it up with a dry brushing at this stage and then whack some static grass on. Just to see, if you want to see like a more detailed way how to do the... And here we are, the finished rocky outcrops. Uh, all that's happened here is that I've uh, painted and dry brushed them all and flocked them. There's nothing else happened here anymore fancy that. I really like the way the dry brushing is picked out of detail in some of this bark. It's pretty cool. Different types of bark showing through. Uh, because of the way we did the bases, they all fit together nicely and they'll fit inside the uh, hill with the box in it here. They just go right in like so. Uh, 